crack in here, I never seen you come around these parts of Bristol. And I go wherever I want. You ain't know that I'm a damn cowboy. I sure do keep them sticks. When you see me, you best say howdy. Yo, what is up, guys? Little Corey, Corey Kevin, and today we are reacting to Marvel vs. DC. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you are asking. Well, I have a doubt, but the point is, though, um, now I'm pretty sure some of you are curious about, you know, this type of reaction because I usually mainly react to like, you know, music. Um, you know, this is a reaction channel, so I can react to whatever. But the point is, though, um, um, oh, shit, I forgot my Xbox open, so y'all probably heard that. Um, you might be wondering what made me thought of, um, of what made me thought of, like, you know, making a video like this. Um, well, uh, today's date is May 29th, but I have uploaded this video. I should have, at least, so, you know, if I have it, then... Fuck you, Corey, but uh, I'm pretty sure he did, so good job, Corey, if you did. I know you're watching this. Um, The point is, this video should be uploaded by June 1st, and you're probably wondering, what does June 1st have to do with this video? Um, It's especially requested by a good friend of mine. She asked me to do this video around the beginning of when I made this uh, channel, around to where I had between like 10 to 30 subs um, but it was around the beginning of when I made this channel I do know that for a fact and so you know today is her birthday and so you know I wanted to drop this video on her birthday and um, you know so um, yeah um, cause she, she really she like really wanted me to make this video and I promised her, uh, I'm glad I never promised when I'll drop it, though. So, you know, I keep my promises, and I know how to and I know how to do my promises, too. But I did promise her I'll drop this video, and it's getting dropped on her birthday. So, I'm not going to say her name because of publicity. Publi I can't say the word, but you know what word I'm trying to say, because I always have a, my tongue tied, t tongue. You know what I'm trying to say right now. The point is, we're just going to say Jessie. That's not her name, but she, she knows who I'm talking about because she, she, she wanted this video. Um, Happy birthday, Jessie. I know that's not your name, but, you know, I, I, I don't know if you will like me to say your name, you know, in front of some people. So, you know, I don't know if that will make you feel uncomfortable or anything, so I'm not going to do that. But, um, yeah, happy happy birthday, Jessie. Um, yeah, but if there is a Jessie out there whose birthday is on the first, then, you know, happy birthday to you too, man or woman. There can be a guy named Jesse. Point is, let's just get right on to the video. It's from Watch Mojo Justice League versus the Avengers. Um, basically, Marvel versus DC. Um, so, I don't know too much about Watch Mojo. I don't know if they're like the IGN of, well, of the videos they do. I don't think they are, but I never watched them. So, we're just going to just do this video anyways. I'll tell you guys my thoughts and opinions of the video too and after the video. And let's get us started. They work together to defeat threats they could not stop alone. Promising news, General. I think we're finally ready. Let me uh, turn it down real quick because it's kind of a little... Might be a little too loud for y'all, I'm not sure, so. Good. I want you to prepare for all 12 candidates. 12? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be looking at the Justice League and the Avengers to see which is the greatest superhero team of all time. The Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. Sort of like a team. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Although a fight between the two teams would be pretty awesome, we're looking for a variety of categories to determine the winner, and not who would win in the fight. Don't make us guess. What are we in for? At least three made men. Almost as tough as Superwoman. Good three movie. Made men. Good movie. Later. I don't have time to explain. Follow me. I ain't even gonna fucking care, bro. DC has the best animated movies. Way more than Marvel. No fucking cap. No fucking cap. No fucking cap. It's just a fact. Round one, founding members. Count me in. Me too. In one corner, we have the Justice League, created when DC Comics brought their seven most popular superheroes together to reform the team. The original seven were Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, The Flash, Aquaman, and Martian Manhunter. And don't take it personally, Sean. He doesn't trust anyone. 
four of these guys had been published continuously since the 1940s, and the other three were instrumental in jumpstarting the Silver Age of comics. Their first official origin story was told in 1962's Justice League of America number 9, when the seven heroes all came together to battle the evil space invaders known as the Apalexians. This is a young justice, right? Yep. Young Justice was fucking Unlike lit. the Justice League, the Avengers weren't exactly Marvel's most well-known heroes. The Avengers who came together in 1963 to defeat the evil trickster Loki were a mixed bag. Sure, Iron Man and Thor were pretty popular, but the Hulk's first comic had already been cancelled, and Ant-Man and the Wasp were second stringers. So, how's your day been? Painful. I don't think it's over yet. The roster that was gathered together for the 2012 film featured characters who were big box office hits by then, but that was the movie. If you stick to their original comic book origins, they definitely weren't a team of comic book legends just yet. Together, we can avenge the wrongs caused by all these villains. We can be Avengers. <laughs> Good name. Now, we have grown to love all of the heroes, but the Avengers simply lack the iconic status and star power that the Man of Steel and the Dark Knight bring to the Justice League. We're gonna have to give this Honestly, point. Honestly, though, I ain't gonna fucking cap, though. They ain't wrong. Think about it. Let's let's think about it. between the two most iconic people between Justice League and the Avengers. From Justice League, we got Batman and Superman. From the Avengers, we have Iron Man and Cap. And for what we can say is, yes, it is true. Um, you know, like Batman and Superman, they don't always agree with each other. Iron Man and Cap, they don't always agree with each other. You know what I'm saying? But what we can say because th think about it come on and if you guys think about like batman is superman i mean injustice come on you're not seeing that um not nah, for real though if we had to say like as in like yeah batman and superman they don't always get along but you know they'll always get right back with each other because they they like those they, they're really close they're really close and then you got and then steve and tony it's like one of them always wants to have the right to like it's to like you know be the leader and shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like what to the Justice League. Surely someone else in this room knew that. Who is this woman? Round two. Additional members. Additional, additional members. Honestly, before he says who gets the point for this one, I'm gonna have to go with um, Avengers. Avengers introduced so many iconic, interesting, unique characters, different personnel, different powers, you know, and it set a, like, a right tone, right mood for, you know, how they want this character development to go and into, like, you know, who, you know, who should, like, trying to get more spotlight and shit and, you know, who they know people and who they know that people are going to really fuck with. Where to where this DC, DC doesn't really rely too much on showing, like, new characters and stuff because people mainly folk only and are mainly focusing only on, like, Justice League members like The Flash, Batman, Superman, you know, like, those like those type of characters. Um, you know, hero-wise and then villain-wise, you know, you got Joker, you know, you got Lex, you got, um, I, I, people won't, you don't hear too many people talk about Dark Side either. You'll hear people talk about Thanos, especially, you know, Infinity War and shit in the comics, but you ain't gonna really hear too many people talk about Dark Side, so you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, now that we looked at the original core, let's take a look at the characters who were acquired later on. DC went all out with the original team, but that didn't leave much room for expansion. A lot of the members added throughout the years felt like they were strictly B-team. Let's just say that a whole lot of the later members are not superheroes that most kids would have heard of. Sure, you have the likes of Green Arrow, Black Canary, and Shazam, that is also true. but you also have- that is, that is also true. There is a lot of DC heroes that, um, that, 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 that like, they just said it too, that some people, especially kids, they ain't gonna really, like, know. They just gonna know, like, the main ones that, like, you know, that stand out. You know, like, come on. I highly doubt some kids even know the fucking, um, um, what's the name? I know they're Marvel, but I highly doubt some people are going to even fucking know the Fantastic Four. You don't hear people talk about the Fantastic Four, but they, they are, they, they're lit. They're fucking lit. But you ain't going to hear people talk about those. So, you know, that's an example. But, you know, DC-wise, you ain't going to, you ain't going to hear too, hear too many people, like, like people like villains are hero wise. We got Lobo, you know. You don't. You ain't gonna hear people talk about um, 
uh, Solomon Grundy, um, you know, like I said, Dark Side earlier, um, you know, um, what, what's his name? Um, damn, I forgot his name, but he's, he, 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 he can like beat up Superman. I forgot his name. He's a villain. Vibe, the elongated man, Red Rocket, Gypsy. Need I go on? Oh, Approaching and Noah fucking and uh, Red, Red Tornado, Blue Beetle, um, I think he just said his name, but the dude who can like, like stretch, he can like, um, you know, shape shift, something like that. Um, you know, and he's a hero. He's a hero, not a villain. He's a hero. Can I start the video? There we go. Somewhat astonishing speed. We're on it. Unlike DC, Marvel took time giving Avengers membership cards to some of their biggest names. Many of their most loved Avengers came after the original squad was formed. This includes Black Panther, Captain America, who later became the leader of the Avengers, Wolverine, and of course, everyone's favorite neighborhood as superhero. As I said, Fantastic Four, right here, this orange dude right here, where my mouse cursor is right here on the left side of the screen, that is Thing. Um, he's one of the Fantastic Four. Spider-Man. Cap Captain? Big fan of Spider-Man? Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Just... Hey, everyone. Good job. While the Justice League's founding crew is a lot more impressive, the names that were added to the Avengers roster further down the line tip the scale in Marvel's favor. Winner, the Avengers. <laughs> Round three, Team Chemistry. Shit! Language! We're gonna go by Team Chemistry. I don't know who he will say will win. I'm gonna see what he says, and then I'm gonna, um, you know, I'll probably change my answer. Uh, depending on you know what he says, but if I had to say team chemistry, um, I'm probably gonna have to go with DC. There have been so many situations, and where it happened to DC to where it's like they like know, like they know who like they like. Oh, okay, he's gonna handle this. He gonna handle this and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they they already fucking know what's happening. And they like know how to get through the situation. Kind of like, um, take this, like Justice League War, right? Now, the Justice League wasn't really formed yet, but members of the Justice League, which, you know, were coming together that we all know of, you know, they were like, they were like already fucking with each other. Even though at first they weren't really knowing each other, but they were already fucking with each other. So, you know what I'm saying? So. For any team to succeed, whether it be in sports or superheroes, they need to learn to work together. I'm always picking up after you boys. The Justice League are a pretty diverse group of characters that consists of gods, aliens, humans with powers, and humans without powers. Can you fly? In a plane. Oh, Justice League War, look at that. Um, but nah, yeah, that too, yeah, they are, it consists of, you know, regular humans, um, superpowered humans, you know, species, you know, so, yeah, I kind of forgot about that too. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all that really matters, yeah. Wait. You're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? It's tough to find two members that have something in common. That's not to say that there aren't memorable relationships in the group. Batman and Superman are known to have a love-hate relationship based on their different ideologies. Civil liberties are being trampled Like I said before. City. Good people living in fear. Don't believe everything you hear, son. The Flash and the Green Lantern have always been best buds, and Wonder Woman has had a flirtatious relationship with pretty much every member of the group. Still, because the members of the Justice League come from all walks of life, they have more of a working relationship. Hey there, what's up? Shazam. I'm with him. He's not with me. Some of the relationships in the Avengers kind of parallel those in the Justice League. Just like the Justice League, the Avengers' main leaders are a cynical billionaire and a big blue boy scout. And, shocker, just like Batman and Superman, Stark and Rogers butt heads all the time. What makes the Avengers different is that they have a lot more in common with each other, though, as most of them behave more like normal humans and don't let their capes and masks get in the way of building relationships. It also helps that a lot more of them were friends before joining the Avengers, like Iron Man and War Machine, and Captain America and Falcon. This gives them a lot more common ground, and they seem to hang out with each other when they're not kicking butt. I make seven hostiles. I make five. While the Justice League may have been called Super Friends, it's the Earth's mightiest heroes who are actually friends. So they take this round. Winner, Avengers. 
think Captain Anna is gonna. Mm. I mean, he's not wrong. Like they do have like a. Um, when it comes to like working, he is right. They don't. It doesn't matter. Cape, no cape, all that shit. Avengers, you know, they they work together. It's just that they be having too many like differences and shit. I mean, yes, I know there has been injustice happening DC too between you know, but still, I feel like DC should have took. But eh, um, I mean, this this is all his opinion. I'm just saying my opinion. So. I mean a damn thing if we don't close that portal. Round four, villains. Ah, villains. <clears throat> now, um, I'm by far DC should win this. I'm gonna see what he says, but DC should win this. Let's see. So much shit happened within the cartoons and shit. I'm like, come on, bro. DC deserves to win this. Everyone knows that a hero is only as interesting as his villains. The Justice League has to fight loads of infamous bad guys, like the maniacal Lex Luthor and the all-powerful Darkseid. And that's not even mentioning other threats like the Anti-Monitor, Brainiac, and Starro. Plus, a common trend in the DC- I don't know how I forgot about fucking Brainiac too, like, jeez. The universe is that the bad guys love to form groups of their own, such as the Injustice League and the Crime Syndicate. With bad guys like these constantly causing trouble, the Justice League has plenty of worthy, top drawer enemies to keep themselves busy. No! You're usually more careful, Lex. You slipped up. And you're going down hard. On the comic book pages, the Avengers have enough baddies to keep themselves plenty busy. They have to deal with the likes of Thor's jealous brother, Loki, who both in the comics and films brought the team together. Mr. Stark. Captain. The horrific android Ultron is another villain from the comics who was made famous by the cinematic universe. And the sinister Norman Osborn is a major adversary to the Avengers in the comic books. Even though the fierce foes sometimes join up, they don't do it with the same panache or frequency as their DC brethren in crime. You know, with the benefit of hindsight. In the recent years, the Avengers may have a more recognized rogues gallery, but the villains and teams of villains that the Justice League face off against is just too menacing to ignore. We're gonna have to give this point to the Justice League. Oh, I, th I thought he said Avengers for a second. I was about to say, huh? But nah, he said Justice League. All right, all right, all right. Cause I'm like DC, most definitely Joker, hella people. You can literally get the villains from Arkham Asylum. You don't have to get the older ones. And they, I'll say it'd be close, but if we're talking about all villains from, yeah, D DC, come on. <laughs> Round five, film and TV. Oh, now I don't know what's about to happen on this round, but what I can say is, movies wise, Marvel. TV wise, shows, DC. I don't know who's gonna win this, but I want to say DC because of the animated movies. Because you're talking about films and TV, so technically I say the animated films and shit. Come on. I say DC wins, but let's see. Let's see. For our final round, it's time to look at which team has been more successful at leaping from the comic pages to the small and silver screens. Oh, you're talking about between more successful? Ah, oh, he's gonna say Marvel's gonna win, but let's see what happens. You called them. You've got your posse, I've got mine. Clearly, you should never do this stuff without me. The Justice League's strength comes from their television appearances, where they capture the attention of children across generations. First, they gave us the campy, but fun, Super Friends in the 70s. Then they gave us the epic Justice League and Justice League Unlimited in the early 2000s. Problem? I'm out. Take my extra. Not my style. Suit yourself. I'm planning to live through this. That's not to mention the short-lived, but well worth your time series, Young Justice. While an official Justice League movie won't come out until 2017, we have seen the world they're creating for it with Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice, and Suicide Squad. Save Martha! Granted, these movies are, let's face it, kinda bad. They certainly haven't soured us to the Justice League, and we're looking forward to the future outings of DC's premier heroes. I'm putting together a team. I didn't like, I didn't like this Flash in Justice League. I'm not even gonna fucking cap. People with special abilities. I didn't like this movie that much. Enemies either. are coming. Stop right there. I'm in. The Avengers haven't done as well on the small screen. Although the cartoon, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes, was fantastic, it was unceremoniously replaced by Avengers Assemble, which did not live up to the predecessor's quality. I'm already warmed up and I got the B.O. to prove it. 
As for animated features, once again DC has Marvel absolutely trounced in this category. Marvel has very few animated features based on the Avengers, and even less to write home about. DC, on the other hand, has a whole lot of great animated features that we really yes. wish the live action uh -huh. movies would take a cue from. Yes! Okay. What? The Avengers' real success has come from their fantastic movies. Yes, with a huge exactly what I'm saying. Based exactly what I said. And three team-up movies under their belt, the Justice League have way too much catching up to do. When it comes to television and animated appearances, the Justice League takes the crown. But in the cinematic department, the Avengers win by an absolute landslide. As close as this round is, we've got to give the overall category and the match. I know to he the was Avengers. gonna. I, know, I said it too. Winner, the Avengers. Victory. I knew he was gonna say Avengers. I know it. It's ours. <sighs> Hooray. Ha! <laughs> Busted. Now I'm stop. So it looks like the Avengers were able to assemble and knock off the Justice League with a tight victory of 3 to 2. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day. All right. Now, I caught it. I said they're going to give it to Marvel. I said it because of the movies. Because of the movies, bro. If the movie, if the Marvel movies were like okay and decent and, you know, had some good ones, DC, he would have said DC would have won. I said it too. And he said it at the beginning too or of the last round about the more successful. Uh, we all know Marvel is going to be, we all, we, we, when he says, I'm like, oh, okay, Marvel. I told y'all, bro, my predictions, my shit that I said, it was all right. But, Come on, bro. We we not gonna say if we talking about animated cartoon, all that shit. That's DC. But not too many people know that shit though. But we, but people who do knows that shit's way better. I'm just saying the animated movies, the regular movies, Justice League. Hell no. If Justice League, not Justice League. If DC had some like really like the movies that came out recently, not the old ones. Some of their old movies, like. Not anime, like some of the old movies were like really good, but then the new ones started like the more and more it just started getting worse. So it was like, ugh, so yeah. But other than that, I have nothing else to really say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Also, before the video ends, one last time, happy birth, uh, happy birthday. I think we said what? What was the name we said? Jesse. She 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 knows she knows who who, who I'm talking about. But happy birthday to you. Hope you have a special day. I hope you guys have a special day too. Hope you guys take care of yourselves. Please stay safe. Um, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, my socials are in the link in the description. My socials are also right here too. I have nothing else to really say. I'm about to go to sleep. And um, yeah, catch you later.